Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the emetics and anti-emetics. So students, today we will be more emphasizing on the drugs coming under the category of emetics and anti-emetics. So before I uh, proceed toward the drugs, I must say what is emetics and what is anti-emetics. So emetics are the drugs that induce vomiting. <coughs> Sorry, and anti emetics are the drugs that prevent vomiting. Now, let's move toward the emetics. So, there are two varieties of the drugs that are found under the category of emetics. Emetics means the drugs that induce vomiting. So, the one variety of the drug, drugs that acting upon the chemoreceptor trigger zone area so one variety of the drug is that these are the drugs that acting upon the chemoreceptor trigger zone area and, and another variety we have a drugs that irritate gastric mucosa and chemoreceptor trigger zone area so till now we said that antiemetics is broadly classified into two varieties of the drugs one set of drugs are the drugs that acting upon their chemoreceptor trigger zone area and the another we have a drug that acting uh, that sorry that irritate the gastric mucosa and chemoreceptor trigger zone area so in this class we have only drug that is apomorphine apomorphine and this class we have ep cake now what now the question is what is the chemoreceptor trigger zone area what is the chemoreceptor trigger zone area so students this is the specialized area it is the specialized area and the medulla which receive the endpoints which receive endpoints from blood bond drugs are we can say hormones from blood bond drugs are hormones and communicate with other structures and communicate with other structures and the vomiting center to initiate vomiting so students if someone asks you what are the chemoreceptor trigger zone area so th this is the specialized area that is being located in the medulla which receive the inputs from the blood bond drugs or hormones and communicate with other structures in the surrounding and the uh, more specifically in the vomiting center in order to initiate the vomiting so soon this is all about the emetics drugs now let's talk about the anti emetics drugs so what are the anti-emetics drugs? Anti-emetics are the drugs <coughs> that prevent the vomiting. It, it, will no, it will not allow the vomiting to induce. Now, uh, in order to recall the anti-emetics drugs, there we need to memorize the drugs in the form of five A's. So there are five important class of anti-emetics which you need to remember that. Now for the five A, we have anti-dopaminergic drugs. So, and the A stands for the anti-dopaminergic drugs. It includes two sort of drugs. That is non-selective. And that is D2 selective blockers. That is D2 selective blockers. So, in the non selective anti dopaminergic drugs, we have a chlorpromazine or flufenazine. 
So in the non-selective antidopaminergic drugs, we have chlorpromazine and flufenazine. Now D2 selective blockers contain metochloropromide and dompyridone. Dompyridone. So, anti-dopaminergic drugs contain, uh, containing non-selective and D2 selective blockers drugs. In the class of D2 selective blockers, we have metoclopromide and domperidone. In the class of non-selective, we have chlorpromazin and flufenazin. Where another S stand for the antihistaminic antihistaminic drugs. So, in the antihistaminic drugs, we have a trick for it that is DMC. What is the trick? That is DMC, where D stands for diamine hydrinate, where D stands for the diamine hydrinate, M stands for meclazine, C stands for cyclazine. <clears throat> Where another strain, A stands for anticholinergic drugs. So, in the anticholinergic drugs, we have a scopolamine. Where another A stands for the anti serotonergic drug. So in this class we have a ondensetron and at the last we have a A that stands for the adjuvant drugs. So in this class we have two important classes that is glucocorticoid and benzodiazepines. So it is worth repeating what are the drugs that are coming under the category of antiemetics for that we are having a mnemonic that is 5A. So over here we will be more emphasizing on A. So where A stands for anti-dopaminergic drugs that is further classified into non-selective and D2 selective blockers. In the non-selective we have chlorpromazine and flufenazine where D stands for the Sorry, where D2 selective blockers contain metoclopramide and domperidone, where another A stands for antihistaminic drugs containing diminhydrinate, miclazine, and cyclazine, where A another stand for anticholinergic drug containing scopolamine, where another A stands for anti serotonergic drugs containing ondensetron, and at the last we have a A that stand for the adjuvant drugs containing glucocorticoids and benzodiazepines. So student, this is all about the emetics and antiemetics. Hopefully you will like the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friend. Thank you.